welcome to today's video last video we were telling about series and parallel connection of resistors comparison and we have studied so many things and we have listed all these things in a table now the question is why do we study these things is there any practical application that we are what we are studying in this for example today we will be dealing only with one part practical application of resistances in series now by the time if i ask a student what for we use a resistance immediately the answer i expect this from my experience students will tell it is to produce heat energy because resistances are a part where we get heat energy in heating appliances that is true but do you think resistances are only used for to produce heat energy no we are using resistors in various purposes so in this series and parallel connection we introduce you how can we vary resistance in series connection and parallel connection so in series connection we are applying this connection in so many uh, situations in our day to day life i just give one application or one experience that you i am sure many of you might have experienced as small children we will be fascinated by led lamps because this is colored lamps led bulb whenever we get a battery and an led bulb we usually connect these two and see whether it is glowing or not we are having a 9 volt battery that also very common for our toy purposes and our uh, some projects we are getting that battery we might have seen a 9 volt it is voltage but when we are children we don't know what voltage is what, what the function of voltage we don't know anything we just connect this positive and negative with led sometimes it won't glow then by trial and error method we sometimes will manage to connect it properly then it will glow only for once and it will be the first and last glow it will no more glow why this is a question we have to answer now you know many of you those who are doing experiments now you know that battery if you are having more than 3 volt for an led it will fuse but we were using that i am 9 volt battery and led get fuse my question is if you have 9 volt battery and led don't you think we can't make it glow sure we can make it glow there comes our application of series connection of resistors so let us see the case of led and battery of 9 volt and see how we are making it glow is an led it has got 3 volt and it can have 20 milli current this led we have to work with 9 volt battery we know instead of 9 volt instead of 3 volt if we give 9 volt led will be no more led will be there but it won't work it will get fused so we have to take 3 volt from the available 9 volt that we already studied in our series connection we split voltage into parts here we can split voltage 9 into two parts one part we want 3 volt so i represent this circuit like this we use a resistance r and this led and it is connected to cell of 9 volt and one thing is there we want 3 volt here and 20 milli ampere current is safe for this led so these two things we can list here 3 volt and 20 milli ampere now if 3 volt is used from 9 volt we have seen total volt is split and some of these voltages will give you this so 9 volt is equal to this volt plus this 3 volt so we can write this 9 volt 
6 plus 3. So we have here 6 volt. So 9 is split into 2, 6 volt across this resistance and 3 volt across LED. Now 20 milliampere current is flowing. So LED will function. Now question is what value resistance we have to use here? One question already answered. Can we make it glow? Possible. If and only if we connect the resistance here. Now whatever what value resistance you have to connect that we can very easily calculate from our uh, theory part that resistance R is V by I. Here voltage is 6 volt across that resistance. So we can write a 6 by I is because in series connection characteristic or the feature of series connection current throughout the circuit is 20 milliampere through the LED and through this resistance we can write 20 milliampere this 20 milliampere there we told in the first class we have to convert it into ampere before substituting what is 20 milliampere we can write it 20 by 1000 which is equal to 0 0.0 2 ampere 6 by 0.02 ampere which, which is equal to 6 0.02 is 2 by 100 so we can write 6 into 100 by 2 which is equal to 300 ohm So that simple situation that we were using unknowingly, now we understand what principle we are making use there. We are using the principle of series connection of resistors. We consider resistors of LED and resistors of this resistance that externally we connect to make it glow. Resistors of LED also we can calculate because voltage is 3 volt current is 20 milliampere thus we get resistance here the question is we have to calculate this resistance that we were calculating 300 ohms resistance if we connect safely we can work this LED even we have 9 volt otherwise this is a circuit where an LED is connected through a resistance in series with a 9 volt battery this is a 9 volt battery it is connected and this is the LED and this is the resistance the resistance helps in splitting the voltage across the circuit and thereby the LED glows. If the resistance is not there, the LED won't glow as it can't take that much voltage. It will get fused. So this is an application of resistances in series. This is one of the practical applications we will discuss here. Like that, two or three applications we will study in our coming videos. I hope you got this idea. You can just think of what are the other situations in our day-to-day -day life where we are using resistors in series. Thank you.